Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about aspirations, ambitions, and fang. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do some software developers not uh, have a lower aspiration than to work for one of the fang companies? And the short answer is because there is no real reason why someone would want to work for f the fan companies apart from the perception that has been embedded into you, where you believe that there is something to prove by working for these companies. Let me explain. So, the thing is, guys, there is a prestige and there's a hierarchy in quite a lot of people's heads. And usually the reason why people who ask this sort of question give away how inexperienced they are is because they believe that their personal value as, a, as an individual or as a programmer is dictated by the company brand that they are working for. Now, if you work for Google or Facebook or something like that, does that mean that you are a better programmer than the rest of the people who are not working for these companies. No, it does not. I know for a fact that there are people I've had, we've had both Google people at my company, we've had Facebook people coming over, we've had people who were junior level developers who left our company to go and work for Google in a, in a temporary fashion, we're still friends and they come over. And I can tell you right now that Although these are amazing developers, they, we have developers in our company as well who would very easily fit into Google. And they still choose to not work for Google, not because Google is a bad company or because Facebook is a bad company or so forth. It has to do with personal preferences. Because if you are going to measure the value of your entire life based solely on that you are working for a specific company. Now, no one is going to question the fact that these companies are among the most powerful companies in the world. But what does that mean for you as a developer? How does that in any way help you apart from the brand value that such a label is going to give you? Let me explain something to you. Your highest potential paycheck is very likely not going to come from Google. They are not paying you more just because they are a more powerful company. They're going to pay you well, but there are companies out there where you can make even more money. And this is the thing that makes me believe that the person asking this question is fairly junior because they don't understand one fundamental thing. And that is that, and this sounds crazy, and I know it's a very unpopular thing to say, but for quite a lot of people, money is not the most important thing. What I mean by that is not says, is that it's it's more complicated than stating that, oh, if you work for Google, then all your dreams are going to come true because they're not. If you go and work for Google, you have no guarantees that you're going to be able to work on a product that is very stimulating. Do you think that every single person, I mean, just think about this. Do you think that there is no churn rate at Facebook or Google? I know for a fact that there is. I know I have tons of people that I know that have left these companies for other occupations at different companies because they weren't really happy with the position that they had. Sometimes this, they go to a company where it's even better or like for their, from their perspective, they are stimulated in a different fashion. Because when you go and work for such a massive company, it comes down to, no, it doesn't matter if it's Google. It matters, the, what the, the thing that matters is which office are you in? and what department or what team do you join? I've worked for a company that is in, at a similar sort of size where we, to, we talk about an international company that has thousands and thousands and thousands of employees. And I can tell you from, for a fact that it's great from a personal security perspective or a branding perspective to be part of such an organization. But there are many, many trade-offs that you get with joining such a company. And one part is that if you are in the, as an example, if you're not in the main office or if you're in a team that works on a project that isn't favored or something like that, you will, even if it's the most famous companies in the world, you will perhaps not enjoy it. It might not be fun. 
I have on a few occasions been called up by Facebook and they've asked me to ta to join the join a few of their teams in I think it's Dublin where I mean it's Facebook that's and it sounds great and all but the the work that they want me to do is not something that I think that I would enjoy because I have a job today that stimulates me in a very different fashion where I have a lot of influence on the work that I do and for my personal development it's actually more beneficial for me to work outside to work in the team that I am today because in the team that I where I am today I have a very short distance from where I am right now to going to the next level and getting to take on challenges that I would not have had the opportunity to do uh, to take on in a company such as Facebook at least not in the same amount of time because and it's the same thing at my previous job. If you wanted to progress from a junior level developer to any sort of person of influence, now that would be a process that would be fairly difficult for you. And it would be very much determined on how well you play office politics. And office politics is, is definitely a thing. And I can promise you one thing, office politics is a much bigger thing. In, in the larger the company, the more office politics plays a role. And I can promise you another thing, if you, if you set up your entire life around the idea that unless you work for the fan companies or and that anybody who doesn't work for them is a failure, you're going to be in for a, well, one, one of two things are gonna happen. Either you're going to fail and you're going to spend a long time fairly miserable about it, or you're going to succeed and you're going to be pretentious for a few years until you get to such a such a position where it's boring to even work for Google. Guys, Google have people who are among the most famous programmers in the world leave that company because they want to do other stuff. Some of the core contributors to the Go language, as an example, they left not that long ago. Uh, um, there was an article where I don't remember his name now, but he left not that long ago. Why? Because he wants to try something else. Guys, your life is bigger than Google. Your life is bigger than, than Facebook and all these companies. They are literally just an experience or they sh you should think about them as an experience. If you true, because once you reach that bar and you can feel comfortable in that you could either join Google if you wanted or if, and you know, this also comes down to, it's not just if you have the skills. There are many people who are very talented who don't get in because of the hiring process and that there is a fa there's a there's a failed hiring process in every company there's a, always a gap where it's sometimes easy it's sometimes you lose a, a potential job because of circumstances there are tons of reasons and there are people leaving and there are people coming in every single day all it this boils down to for you is that you have to understand that just because a company is very famous or that the company has a big brand, that doesn't necessarily mean that working for that company equals happiness because happiness is a much more complicated thing. And I can promise you, even if you go and get to Google in your 20s, I, bef I will be very surprised if you are ha just across the board happy at, with working for such a company for your entire life. Odds are that you're going to move before you I, before you, you retire. I'm pretty sure that you're going to move to somewhere else. And this may not be true, but for quite a lot of people, more stimulation is required because in the beginning, everything is cool, everything is awesome. And before you know it, you're going to get complacent just as when you buy a new television. It's great for the first few months, but after a little while, you will start to to, it's just going to fade into the background. It's just going to be like any other television you ever had. And you're going to start noticing all the flaws and you're going to start looking at the next thing. What's the next thing that you can do? And trust me when I say this, if you want to reach the highest levels in within a company, Google is probably one of the hardest places for you to do that. If you want a chance to become like a well-paid manager, a CTO type of character, it's actually easier for you to get there in th through either starting your own company or for working uh, or by working at another company where the bar isn't as insanely high as it will be at one of the fan companies. So what I want you to take away from this is that if your idea is that the 
way that you should measure, measure success is through whether or not you work for the ca fan companies or not, then their brainwashing has truly, truly worked. Then you are an indoctrinate, indoctrinated zealot. Because I can promise you this, there are companies every single day that Google, Google and Facebook and other companies, they are buying or acquiring or something like that because they provide a value. I have companies here in Gothenburg that are the, where Google are a customer to that, co that company because, and they, they actually buy services from this company. They are very powerful and they're very famous companies, but they are not the, they don't define your life. They don't define my life. They are t there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people every single day who live very fulfilling lives where they wouldn't trade it. Even as I said, some of us don't even want to go to the interview because there is no reason if that makes sense to you. There are, trust me when I say this, go out on the forums and see and talk to the people who work at Google and Facebook and so forth. And they will tell you just as I'm telling you right now. Sometimes it's really, really great to work for such a company, but it's not, it's the, green, the grass is always greener on the other side, guys. It's not all rainbows, it's not all candy and rainbows. It's not. And I promise you, before your life is over, you will start to understand what it is I'm saying right now. Have a great day.